Chris Alcerzingas is being investigated by the NYPD for rape allegations. Nuts. Rape allegations. Rape oh, allegations that they claim was from last year when he tore his ACL. Nuts. So they claim this is from last year when he when he tore his ACL that he basically brought a girl back to his apartment. KP stays where they play b- Black Ops basketball with Chris Brickley and them. Mm-hmm. Hoop at. Where Mel and them hoop at. That's KP's building. It's a lot of players that stay in that building. Uh, you know, and and you know, a lot of a lot of prominent people. So rich ritzy area. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so the report according to ESPN J Elsa says that the woman told police on Thursday about the alleged attack. Woman reportedly told police she waited more than a year to come forward because she had discussed getting sixty eight grand from Porzingis to keep quiet. Jeez. Supposedly this is this is for her college tuition or something like that. Jeez. All right. Um, couple couple tidbits. First off, Porzingis' camp says that uh, this is nothing more short of an extortion attempt. Mm-hmm. The Knicks knew about it. Man. They informed the Mavericks about it during the trade, and the league also knows about it. Whew. So this is a known this is a known thing. This is not a surprise to anybody but Whew. us. According to Woj, the Knicks did tell the Mavs about it while they were talking in trade. Yeah. NBA says they are aware of the situation. They say the woman reportedly lived in the same building. Said she accepted an invitation from Porzingis' apartment prior to the alleged attack. This is the night he tore his ACL against the Bucks. Crazy. And then uh, I know you heard some stuff from from the TMZ report about what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really want to repeat that because who knows with TMZ, man? But yeah. TMZ was reporting all kind of crazy stuff that that, yeah, that allegedly occurred. There's a lot of French in that one. Yeah, a lot of French, a lot of French in that one. So, yeah, man. That's uh, what, what's your what's your take on this, man? It's kind of crazy to hear, though. Oh my gosh, where do I begin? Oh man, first it just seems. I don't know. My gut reaction is, I know he's a KP's a snake, but I don't, I don't think he's that crazy. I don't, I don't see him raping. No man, about like, of course we you know you gotta wait for all the information to come out. Yeah. Because, you know, if it's a victim, you don't want to disrespect the victim. But it just seems for, it just seems weird that somebody would attempt something like that right after a painful ACL injury. It doesn't right. seem likely. For, for, and then on top of that, it makes me think about, you know, the KP trade in general. Like, did... Did shopping KP have anything to do with this? Well, like, now that's yeah. Now it? that's the question, right? That, that's what people are asking. <laughs> Did this have anything to do with it? Yeah, I mean, was KP like I don't even want to deal with this being in New York with this happening? So let me go to Dallas. Was like was that like part of the <laughs> or or was or was Perry like oh no nah, this is too much heat for New York let's shop him like. I mean, listen, we've been through worse, man. We've been through worse. The whole Anuka Brown Sanders thing was a was a fiasco. You know, Dolan's not, you know, certainly he's certainly used to uh the these crazy allegations. I don't think that would have been the impetus for them to trade him. Maybe it made it a little bit easier. Yeah. To avoid the circus. Jesus. You know, maybe it made it a little bit easier, but I don't I don't think KP would have been running. You can't run from that. You know, it doesn't matter where you at. You know, you, you can't yeah. outrun that, the, these type That's of allegations, fact, man. Damn, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You can't outrun it. Yeah. But it's I don't crazy. know, maybe he's sour. Maybe he's sour on, I don't know. I don't That's know. That's crazy. Maybe he's sour on New York or sour, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you said, it just, it sounds crazy that that would happen on a night where he tears his ACL. I yeah. mean, I've never torn it. I don't know if you have. I've never torn it. I don't know what that feels like, but... It, I would assume it's a painful experience, both mentally and physically. I don't see how, you know, something like that could happen. But we, listen, I don't know. We don't, we don't know all the facts. It's like, I, I would like to see, 
Because I'm trying to remember that night myself because did he go home first? Because he had to have gone to the hospital that night, right? Pretty sh- I'm pretty sure. I'm like, pretty I sure. I would think he sprained, you tear your ACL. I would assume you're not going home for a sip of wine. I think, I feel like I remember the night, like, when he went back home and he had the, I remember, I think he had posted something on IG in his story or something with the, with the brace on. I remember that. At some point in the night, he had ended up back home and it wasn't too, too late. Hmm. So, I don't know. You know, I can't, can't yeah. speculate. Can't, can't, spe- yeah. can't dive that deep into the details. But um, it's an unfortunate thing. I don't wish that on him. You know, I, yeah, I hope man. it wasn't true. I hope it wasn't true by any means, you know? Yeah, man, me too. I, hope that, I definitely hope that yeah. wasn't true. But, but you know, awful. we living in a time now, man, that, that Me Too stuff is, is real. Oh, yeah. That, that Me Too stuff is real. And, you know, listen, it's, you know, for the, for the women that have gone through those type of heinous things, you know, it's a terrible thing. And and anybody that does that to a woman, listen, they deserve to suffer the consequences, whatever comes their way. But on the That's flip bad. side, on the flip side, you know, I've seen a lot of brothers or a lot of people go down on false allegations as well. So, uh, you know, it's a dangerous game, man. It's a dangerous game, especially when you're a pro athlete. You got all that money and you're a target. Yeah. You know, you you could these things could happen even even if it didn't necessarily go down that way. You could still get jammed up. Yeah, man, it's it's unfortunate, man. It, it's both sides. Of the, it's both sides of the fence. Two too. sides like, of the coin. Yeah, there's people who get jammed up on jammed up on it, and there's people who, you know, they try to decide to speak out, and no one believes them just because you know they they are who they right, are. Right, so right, right. There's it, always two sides of that, and that's why you don't want to assume too much one side or the other. Exactly. But you know when you. When you see a celebrity and you kind of feel like you know him because you're a fan of him, it's, it's that initial shock is like, no, nah, yeah, this can't be it. And that's why I'm, even though I know you gotta wait for the facts, my my heart is like, nah. I mean, it just don't you know sa- it just don't sound kosher, man. It just don't yeah. sound kosher. But listen, you don't know these guys, man. You only yeah, see them on we TV. Don't know, we don't know these guys. You only, you only see him on TV forty eight minutes at a clip. So exactly, you, you exactly. don't know. You only know on TV then. It's, it's weird though, cause you, cause you know what it is. Like you only know these guys for forty eight minutes on the clip. Facts. At the same time, if some crazy stuff came out about about, about me, I would hope people would give me the benefit of the doubt as well. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nah, tell yeah. us what to do that. I'm like, believe me. Like, I, so it's, it's it's confusing times, man. It's crazy. Conf- crazy times, man. Glad I'm married. Yeah, yeah man. I'm, I'm trying, I mean? man. I'm trying. <laughs> Great, crazy times out there, man. Because, like I said, these athletes are targets, man. Remember, um, remember Derek Williams got booked by the two chicks that stole his jewelry, stole his bag, yeah, stole his money. Derek Rose was going through something. Uh, D D Rose. He came over here. Who else? I think KO got jammed up on some crazy thing last year with, with a with a woman. I forgot what happened, but KO, KO got oh, wow. involved. Yeah, KO got jammed up on something. Yeah, I didn't know. Derrick Williams, they they robbed him. It might have been Cardi B. Oh man. <laughs> Damn. Not, not, not to make light of these situations, you know what I mean? But yeah, 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 uh, yeah. you know, whatever. But uh yeah, Derek Derrick Williams got jammed up, so hopefully it's not not the case with KP. And you know the Mavericks are going through uh, sexual harassment allegations throughout their organization. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, remember there there were some allegations last year coming down that said you know the culture firm wide is, is just is not a good look. They yeah, said the culture firm wide is just not a good look. So how Alex said how that how that affects the contract? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I I mean if. Here's the thing, though. If the Mavericks thought there was any validity to it, I don't think they would have right. made Right. Exactly. They wouldn't have made the trade. Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying, too. Like, if this has been known for quite a while, when was the trade? The trade was February. This it went down February. last year. Clearly, this has been out there for a while. If the Knicks right. had known about it before that. Right. And Knicks were making calls before February. Right. Obviously, yeah. Right. So, they might be making calls in, de- in December. Right. So I don't think, you know, not to speculate, but if the Mavericks thought this was something close to being a criminal situation, they wouldn't have pulled the tr- the, the trigger on the deal. Yeah. So, you know, they better they just better hope she don't pull out no receipts on them. 
Yeah, man. I mean, the other part of the story too was she wanted him to pay what sixty eight thousand dollars. Sixty eight grand. In her in her brother's college tuition. Yeah, something like that. As like kind of hush money. Mm hmm. So that's another like weird little wrinkle. Yeah. That makes you think. Do you want hush money for something like that? Like it seems, I don't know. I don't know. Right. Like I said, we will wait and see. Wait, wait and, and see. see how this. Yeah, we wait and see how this turns out. Wait and see, man. But uh, like we said, man, hope hope it doesn't happen. Hope it's not true. You know, whatever the case may be with KP and us, that's just basketball. But you know, on, on a real life, on a real life, uh, you know, situation. It, you, you just hope it. You just hope that's that's not the case. But let, let's hear from some people who want to react to the game in the KP situation. Will from Li joins us first. Will, how you feeling, bro? Yo, what's up, guys? Um, let me just say um, about uh, uh, I I caught a little bit of the game in the beginning, mm-hmm. um, and then I had to go to a baby shower, and okay. I'm actually here right now. Oh, so, sorry to hear that, man. So Hang in there, bro. Sounds kind of muffly. <laughs> oh man, that oh man, you 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 ran the for the baby shower. You oh man, well, hey man, on, yo, he needs his man time. Hey, nah, 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 well, nah, well, nah, if you with your lady right now, do what you got to do, man. We we can talk later, man. My girl, my, I know, like, I'm here listening to you. Hold on, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> my girl we'll right she now. did. She left like from the baby shower too. <laughs> <laughs> You're like outside on the balcony, you know. Balcony of the baby shower. So okay. You know, yeah, don't worry, I got her. Yeah, so I'm gonna give my opinion. Fact, fact. I'm gonna give my opinion on the KP thing, and I'm gonna give, and then she's gonna give her opinion from a woman's side of it, you okay. know, about the okay. whole KP thing. Mm-hmm. Um, um, like, I, like you know, KP was like my favorite player, and I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody. Um, and obviously, you know, fake allegations are a thing. Um, that being said, I don't. The fact that KP told the Knicks, and he also told the Mavericks, I can kind of guess that we can at least assume that they definitely at least had intercourse. But at that point, it becomes wishy-washy about whether, you know, you want to call it one thing or call it another thing. Right. Um, ultimately, how I feel about the situation, you just got to give it time for the info to come out and, you know, all the information to come out before you can say that one thing happened to another because as sad as it say, um, this happened a year ago and, you know, I implore all, like, sexual assault victims that once stuff happens, you got to go right away, you know, as, as fresh, just to have credibility. And as time goes on, it, that's when you you can't be so quick to judge, yeah. you know. Right. If it happens right away, and right away, you know, you take, I guess, like, there's a rape kick and all that other stuff. If that happened right away, boom, you know, get all your, you know, get all your evidence and all that. But the fact that it happened a year ago... You gotta give. You gotta let time pass and let you know stuff come out upon that. But that, you know, that's how I feel about the situation. Okay. Um, let, me, let, let me let me let me um, let my girl say her point. Go All on, right. Go on, baby. Um. So basically, I just heard about the KP thing today. Like my boyfriend, he just asked me like what I think about it, and I mm-hmm. kind of read the headline, and I'm like, it's not like too surprising to me because there's a lot of men, especially like white powerful men who have money in the industry, who is just like. They have a, it's an abuse of power, basically. So if it is true, I wouldn't put it past him because this has been done multiple times and a lot of the people haven't been put away for it because they signed those non-disclosure agreements, especially for that amount of money that they're saying, like 78, uh, 68,000. 68, mm. So it's just like that whole non-disclosure agreement thing. I don't know if she brought it up. I don't know if KP brought it up, but that's making everything seem like really sus. Yeah. It's mm. like, why you got to ask? money for it though if so, stuff happens like this go for a criminal trial you know try to put them away right yeah. prove your innocence before you try to have people sign non-disclosure agreements because if you're innocent you're innocent that's it yeah and my apologies we are a little bit on the sauce we were just that's cool man y- y'all came no, out all right man y'all came out all right man yeah man <laughs> we, we know we you know you know we appreciate you guys uh, calling us up man definitely yeah, man Back, back, back. And she had a great time at the party uh, meeting you guys. Yeah, and, it was so uh, fun. Right. Yeah. No, no doubt, man. Uh, we're yeah. just going to leave it on that, y'all. Okay. We're going right, to well. let y'all go, all right? So y'all keep it pushing, all right? All right, man. All right. Get, get back to that baby shower. All right. Yeah, J. Ellis, man. I didn't even hear about the NDA part, part of it. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. about the... I didn't hear about that either. But yeah. I feel like... um, I feel like celebrities and... I feel like celebrities do that in general. Don't they, like... 
not well, not non disclosures. You know, don't you know they don't they sign things before they have like intercourse with women because they don't want them to put their stuff on like Instagram and stuff like that to keep things on. Well, I know, I know. The term. I'm yeah. Well, my man Derek Jeter, the captain. Salute to the captain, Derek Jeter, New York Yankees. You know what I mean? Twenty seven championships. Mm-hmm. Yo, what Jeter used to do? He used to make women check their phones at the door. Yeah. Like no cell phones in the house. None of that. Check that shit at the door. And he, he like Jeter, I mean, think about it. Jeter held it down for 20 something years in New York and never had a blemish on his record, was never tarnished, was never accused of anything. Um and and they always pair Jeter with, you know, the cream of the crop joints, you know, Mariah Carey, Jessica Alba, all of them. Yeah, Jeter, yeah. Jeter, Jeter never had his name tarnished, man. Jeter never had his name tarnished, but I don't yeah. know. I don't this know. is rough, man. I it's was, rough. This is rough, man. It's, well, I'm going to just wait for I'm going to just see. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what information is going to come out. Right now, it's just kind of a waiting game. Wait yeah. Just, just mm-hmm. wait and see, man. Wait and or, see. Wait and see. Will and his lady dip from the baby shower, JL. Some some party they're having over there. <laughs> Dog, they want to talk next. <laughs> want to talk next. Let them talk. They dip from the baby, baby shower to, to, to talk about the 2 and 96 Knicks. Dog, like, like I said, <laughs> let them do what they do. Real oh, Knicks man. fans. The baby going to be this. Season. Yeah, the, the, the baby's going to come, come hella high water, man. Exactly. This poor Zingus news is fresh. Fresh off the boat, you know. It's eleven, eleven right now. True, diehards, like man. They spent they spend probably an hour, a good hour, with with, with the uh, with the um, how I don't I don't want to with the host with the, the host mm-hmm. pregnant, you know, gave gave their dues. It was cool. They, they can hang out until the next five minutes. I hear that. I hear that, man. All right, let's go to the West Coast. That boy Pal wants to talk about the KP situation and um, rookies on the Knicks. Pal, what's up, bro? Yeah, man, I just want to start with if this is true and KP is is guilty of this, it, man, he's like the utmost punishment. That's just not, it's not, I'm sorry. Yeah. Show, but it's not, it's not cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the and TMZ so tarnish, reports are crazy. Like, if yeah. that's true, what's TMZ? You know, I didn't want to really give him too much credit because it yeah. sounded like so outrageous. But, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. if what they're reporting is true. That, and also, that's like. What, what I'm also, like, realizing is, like, that when an accusation comes up, we need to kind of, like, be careful of, like, how we spread that around. Because, like, I'm already seeing the chat kind of, like, wow, and now calling them all kinds of, you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I'm not a fan of KP. I caught some mistakes, but, like, that's the way yeah. until the facts come out. Because, like, even Kobe, even Col- Kobe's been retired and he's still dealing with that today. Like, I think he yeah. got barred out for, like, one award show because of the accusations, even though he was already proven not yeah. guilty and d Rose. But still, man, what what really is is like, what I'm just like worried about is the fact that he gave them, he offered hush money. Because like, mm-hmm. if you weren't guilty, why would you do that? You know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't you fight it? You know? That's kind of shit. like what, I, I don't know what the, I don't know, I don't know what the fact is. It literally just broke, right? The news just broke. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it, it's just a, it's just a it's just a sad situation, man. Because like. Man, this is not it's not gonna be a good look for him. Mm-hmm. But what I do know is you gotta you gotta open up that Photoshop file, right? And you gotta open up that YouTube banner, get rid of KP and then oh, yeah. put, I've <laughs> put I've been lazy, man. It. I've been lazy, been man. KP there for months. I gotta get the banner fixed, pal, man. man. I've been lazy on that, man. I, I was even just gonna I was just even just gonna cut DeAndre Jordan's head and just put it on KP's body because he wears number six <laughs> white white arms yeah. white arms and white neck white and all because he wears he wears number six I, I was just gonna cut and paste deandre on there man i've been lazy man i gotta get to Where, it yo yo shout out to captain leo for subscribing to yeah oh. captain leo what up man all right pal man appreciate it bro oh man 